Walking through my residential neighborhood on the left side sidewalk, a humongous black pickup truck drives up from behind. He pauses a long while in an intersection for no apparent reason, then casually sticks his hand out the driver's window and drops a wadded piece of garbage right onto the street. Okay, I'm a coward. I should have dashed out, grabbed the garbage, chased him down, etc., but I'm a woman in my 60s and just not capable of a potentially dangerous confrontation. I am, however, an a-hole capable of delayed pettiness. He makes a U-turn and parks at the house just beyond the intersection, a house undergoing construction. I glare at him uselessly as I pass, but he's parking and not paying me any attention. Okay, jerk face, let's see. Construction site, big shiny pickup truck, take out food, obviously some out-of-town contractor who thinks he can roll up and spew garbage all over my neighborhood. Plan formulated. If the truck is still there, if its window is open, if the contractor is out of sight, and most importantly, if I can find the garbage. Twenty minutes later on my walk back, I take a careful look as I go by. The pity god smile upon me. Truck there, window open, voices in the house, but no one in sight, and there's the food wrapper in the gutter. Yellow with some orange, Taco Bell? There's one at the foot of Boulevard at the beach. I snag it, cross over to the opposite side of the street, backtrack a bit, cross back over. Then I walk past again and check the wrapper through the passenger side window, covering the action by pretending to adjust my hat and stroll on. Yes, I'm sure he just tossed it out the window again, but maybe he'll pause a moment to wonder who exactly is watching him and what judgment the gods are passing upon him. Want to submit a story or have some feedback for us? Visit talesfromtheinternet.show or send us an email at feedback at talesfromtheinternet.show.